Hey people, it is Monday, December the 11th. It's currently 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it is 2 degrees Celsius. Feeling more like minus 5 with the wind chill. I am on College Street heading west and I thought I'd take a walk into the Little Italy area along College Street but I would also, as I'm walking through, I would point out what I think are the two best pizza places in the College Street Little Italy area. So of course you associate Little Italy with good pizza. And there are quite a few pizza places through that neighborhood but two of them stand out in my mind. And also a lot of other people would agree with me with these rankings. So I'll reveal those two places once we get to them. In the meantime, we'll just take a walk along College Street West. But stay tuned for some very good pizza coming up ahead. Approaching University Avenue. There's Queens Park over there. just coming into the Monday rush hour which isn't as busy as the Tuesday Wednesday Thursday rush hour I find but it is busier than the Friday rush hour just my observation as of late just because so many people tend to work from home on Mondays and Fridays to extend their weekends as much as possible passing Queens Park subway station all those people just got off the streetcar and went right inside the subway station here get a free transfer And we're passing through the University of Toronto section of College Street here before we get to Little Italy. There's the magnificent Stewart Building. I think my favorite building on all of College Street. Many other handsome U of T buildings here along this stretch. And the new bike lanes are all done in this section here. See they have a curb protection, nice separation.
They used to be just painted sharrows on the side of the street. So definitely a big improvement. Let's cross to the other side here. Because the first pizza place is on the north side of the street. And both of these pizza places I'll be showing in this video were also among Dave Portney's One Bite Pizza Reviews on YouTube, which is a very popular channel with over a million subscribers. And he gave both of these places a fairly high ranking. And quite rightly so, in my opinion. Looking up into the U of T. I do love pizza. It's probably the food I eat more than any other on a regular basis, but I'd like to see a list of best burrito places in Toronto. Maybe I can do one of my own. And I'm sure there are already many such lists if I just were to look it up. Wahlberg building here at U of T. Down Beverly Street. St. George on this side. This is like the main street running through the campus. And there are very tiny little snowflakes falling down. There were some light flurries in the forecast for this afternoon. We still haven't had our first real significant snowfall though this season in Toronto. To me, five centimeters is minimum for what I would consider a significant snowfall. Five centimeters staying on the ground at least for a day or so. If it melts immediately, yeah. I don't know if I'd count that or not.
so that we yeah, stay yeah. in the One of the more beautiful public library branches. I think second to the big reference library in Bloor Yorkville. It's quite the huge bag that girl is carrying up ahead. She seems to be overloaded. Hopefully doesn't have too far to go. Boy, she's going to carry that weight a long time, but hopefully not. Well, looks like she's found her destination. This is Spadina Avenue. So we're almost at the first pizza place, just a bit further west along College. There's a look down into Chinatown. All right, our first pizza place awaits. Don't worry about and we are here. So this is Fresca Pizza and Pasta. And 
This is a local family run pizza place that uses an old, older family recipe that carried on. So right here on the corner of College Street and Robert Street. Very distinctive, nice corner building here. A lot of character. And I think this scored a 7.4 according to the One Bite Pizza Review, which is very good. Anything above a 7 is very good pizza. Above an 8 is like outstanding. So 7.4 is very, very good. And obviously you can rate it yourself. Maybe it's a 10 to you or a 9 or whatever the case may be. I think it's fantastic pizza. I would give it an 8 at least according to my own ranking. So let's carry on now to the next one. The next one is in the heart of Little Italy. We're currently just sort of on the edge of Little Italy, just approaching the neighborhood. Passing by Kensington Market. It's looking south down Augusta Avenue. wind is quite bitter. Pass by many other pizza places along the way. And you know, none of them are terrible by any means. Many of them are quite good. It's pretty hard to make terrible pizza. Even Pizza Pizza, which is usually regarded as the worst of the worst in Toronto, is more than edible in my opinion, especially if it's fresh out of the oven. 
There's Croft Street. It's one of those strallies, as I like to call them. Is it a street or is it an alley? Or maybe it's a little bit of both. And look, Domino's. A lot of people are big fans of that place. I never noticed before over there. Happy Burger. And we're about to start coming into Little Italy once we cross Bathurst Street. Seems to be some boisterous young people on the streetcar there. Makes me sound like an old fuddy-duddy when I say things like that. It's north up Bathurst. The streetcar was honking at some cars, perhaps, at should not have been passing. And the bike lanes on this side are pretty close to completion by the looks of it. Doesn't look like everything is completely wrapped up, or maybe it is. They just have a slightly unfinished look to them, but maybe that's as finished as they get. I see they have the markings painted on so I guess that's it. So definitely a huge improvement over what used to be here also. You can see a pretty big curb on that side separating the traffic from the bike path. This is a good neighborhood bookstore. Palmerston Boulevard, a beautiful residential street. I've done a few walks along there just as its own video.
the sort of bitter wind, everything is harder to do. I want to pull out my phone to look at something. It's ten times more difficult. <laughs> Kinds of great places here along College Street. Whatever your tastes are, certainly pizza is just the tip of the iceberg in Little Italy. I think that's a really popular place too in the summertime the big chill get your ice cream and other frozen treats I don't think it's doing too much right now though at this time of year it looks to be closed right now hey belly buster subs I'd recommend them if you're a fan of submarine sandwiches And of course, Burrito Boys, my favorite go-to place for burritos in Toronto. It's a chain, but I think it's still very good. This is a good restaurant also, Utopia. And probably the best known restaurant overall here in Little Italy is Cafe Diplomatico. And they do serve pizza in addition to pasta and many other traditional Italian dishes. I like the pasta here. I think I had pizza one time, a margarita pizza, and it was very good. It has quite a history in the neighborhood. Going back over 50 years, 55 years. So we're at College in Clinton. And Clinton Street is where our next pizza place will be on our little pizza place tour here <laughs> through College Street and Little Italy. This is a residential side street. Yeah, let me try to get out my phone here to look at something before I get to our next pizza destination. This is what I was talking about earlier. It's hard to do these things in the cold while you're recording a video. Alright, 
hopefully the camera didn't wobble around too much as I was doing that because we have arrived at our final destination here, Batondo's Pizza and Panzerato. This is another very old family run pizzeria. And it also scored pretty high on the One Bite Pizza Review, it got a 7.5, which as I mentioned is very good. If you're above a 7, you are very good. You are a great pizza place. And you can see this quite an interesting little pocket here, of Little Italy. Also got a sandwich store across the street. So that's all I'm going to include in this walk, just the two best pizza places within a 30 minute or so walk. But honestly, these are the only two I think that stand out in the whole Little Italy College Street area. And they, they were the only two included in the One Bite Pizza Review also for this, this area. So if you're ever in this part of Toronto and you're looking for some good pizza, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you go to either of these places. So I'm going to start to wrap up the walk here. Hope you enjoyed my walk through Little Italy along College Street, where I showed what I think are the two best pizza places in the neighborhood, and I'm not the only one who would agree with that assessment. So be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed the walk. Have you been to either of these pizza places before? What do you what did you think? And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also be sure to hit the notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my videos. If you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store. And there's also a super thanks button down below. And you can support the channel by becoming a channel member, if you wish. And you can find me on Instagram also, under K Continuum. So, thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back. Because, as always, I will continue. Mm -hmm.